Hi everyone, it's Kari Mason from First Class Creativity. Thank you for joining me for week two of Tip of the Week. This week's tip is how to color in your stamp images. Stamp images are also known as stamp brush sets. So if you ever go to purchase a digital download, they're considered stamp brush sets. So let's go ahead and get started with this next tutorial. What you're going to do is select cards and tags. We're just going to do greeting card again. We're just going to select a portrait and then create our own. And then here's where you name your project. And now we have our blanks canvas. Now if you remember from before, there's four different ways to get your stamps. This is going to show you, now that you know how to do that, how to color your stamps. Okay, so let's get started in the resource palette. You select the stamp. It's already out here. We're going to browse and then we'll do, we'll do button buddies. All right, I'm going to open it up. And then over here in stamps, you can see it says choose color. Clicking this button allows you to choose a default color for these stamps. So you choose color and we'll go ahead with cherry cobbler. So everything turns to cherry cobbler over here. That's one way to change the color of your stamps. First, we're going to come up here to insert global search and add. And I'm going to type in flowers. And everything I have flowers is going to come up here. I'm just going to scroll down. And if I just want stamps, I would deselect the backgrounds, punches, and embellishments. I'm going to use the fruit and flowers. Then I'm just going to make that a little smaller. Bring that down here. Then up in the toolbar here, I have button buddies up here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the flowers in a vase. And move those over here. With these three items, I'm going to show you how else you can color your stamps. One of the great, great tools that I find is that you can color things all at the same time. So for example, I press my shift key, select the vase and the flower, and then I come over here to the design center and I'm going to match the color. So I can either change the color, which I'll do that right now. I'm going to change them to uh, Early Express one. As you can see right now, they're black. So you know this is going to be your new color right here. I'm going to click OK. And if I want to match the color, I just come over to Match Color and click on whatever I want. So if you were scrapbooking and you wanted to match something to someone's shirt, you could use this tool for that, which I think is really awesome. So then I have everything in Cherry Cobbler. So that is another way that you can color your stamps. Another thing that I absolutely love is this coloring tool. Now, one way you can get to the coloring tool is to double click on the cherry, or you can come over here to the coloring tool. Either way, it'll come up. Now, what's important is whatever you see here in the brush color is the color that you're going to see. The brush size goes from 10 to 50, and 10 is really small, 30 is a little bit bigger, and 50 is the largest, so you can see the difference there. If I want to undo something, I just come down here and click the undo button or the redo button. If I want to go and zoom in on my project, I can do so, which I recommend when you're doing uh, close-up work on intricate areas. So I'm going to bring the brush size down just a little bit and I'm going to change this to Early Espresso. So as you can see when I click down this box it says Early Espresso and the color turns up here. Then I just come to my image and I just basically paint it. Then for the leaf I'm going to go ahead with the gumball green and I will do the top part gumball green and the bottom part always artichoke and then I will click OK. How fun is that? Now one thing I will say is in more intricate areas, I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, uh, flower base, is when you come to more intricate areas, it takes a little bit more time. And then 
and that you use your base color. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Summer Starfruit. So that's going to be my base color. That's going to be the bottom petals here. I'm going to double click this and I'm going to zoom in to get really nice and close and then I'm going to select a daffodil like so I want a brighter yellow for the middle. And if I go over here that's no big deal but I'm going to start here and I'm going to alternate these petals with primrose petals. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger so it goes a little faster. And I'm going to make sure that I don't get into underneath because I don't want to leave those the summer star fruit. And then I'm going to go to Raspberry Ripple. And as you can see, I went outside the line. So what I want to do is either I can undo it or I can come in, come to Summer Star Fruit and just come in and clean it up a little bit with a smaller brush. Same thing up here with the Daffodil Delight. So, you know, no need to worry. I'm going to finish this and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so here is the final product. I'll go ahead and zoom out and then I'll click OK. Isn't that awesome? I love the effect of colored images with my digital studio. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm creating with my digital studio too. And I hope you enjoy this too. Next week we're going to go over some embellishments and I think you're going to really enjoy that. Have a great digital crafting day.